Hello. Before I get started today, uh, I would like to say thank you to all the folks who have uh, watched and subscribed or both to my channel over the last, oh, two and a half years or so that I've been doing this. I was able to achieve one of my goals, which was to hit over 100,000 views. Uh, the channel has now attained that, so thank you very much. Uh, and we'll continue to work on growing and developing the channel. So here is my new update here. Uh, you know, you saw my last video if you followed the channel uh, with the long spine urchin who got evicted for bulldozing corals. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like he may have also done some damage to my zoanthid. I am down to one polyp there, so I was really unhappy with that. So here is the replacement. <laughs> Hard to tell from all the stuff he's got on him right now since they're a magnet for that. But this is my new uh, tuxedo, or also known as pincushion urchin. And thus far, he has been really good about just constantly moving around the tank, working on various different types of algae. He does eat a little coralline, not as much as the long-spined urchin, uh, but he's also really good at going after other types of algae. And we'll see how he does on hair algae. Supposedly, they'll eat some of that. But... Um, this has been just a, a fun little addition to the tank, even though they're a magnet for every little piece of debris. As you can see, it's got all kinds of stuff stuck to it. Unfortunately, this guy had a little bit of a rough introduction to the tank. Um, you know, I was at work at the time, and my wife had to add him, and poor guy ended up falling down and picking up some extra stuff on him. So as you can see here, he's got all that stuff stuck to him there. Now, this is the blue tuxedo urchin which is actually great because I love the colors on them the deep blue color that you can see in there and uh, it's actually I think of the look it's my favorite of those kinds of uh, of the tuxedo and pincushion urchins so these guys stay a lot smaller thankfully they max out at about three inches they're pretty easy to care for um, they don't you know this one actually ended up poor thing upside down on the tank after kind of having a rough landing on the bottom of the tank there that's how he got all the debris and uh, he hasn't missed a beat and just kind of been all over the tank now supposedly they're supposed to be just they can be more nocturnal hide during the day but uh, apparently mine didn't get the memo on that it's been active night and day uh, just kind of goes all over the place some days it'll be on the rock work some days it's on the glass some days he likes to camp out up there on the uh, return and uh, just kind of work on some of the coralline algae that's up there. So anyways, if you're looking to add an urchin to your tank, um, you know, particularly if you've got one of these invert munchers, yes, that's you, Mr. Melanaris, uh, they are um, a good addition as well for that. The good news is my fish totally ignore it. They don't really want to be around it very close. Um, they get close to it, they kind of turn and go the other way pretty quickly, which is great um, because that's exactly what I want. You don't want uh, to have an expensive algae eater that gets ripped apart by a curious invert munching fish. So anyways... Uh, yeah, the tuxedo urchin thus far has been a great just all-around algae eater. Uh, really pretty, you know, when it gets right under these lights. It uh, kind of has that sort of deep blue to it. And, you know, there are the other kinds as well that have the sort of orangish-red spines on them. And uh, so, yeah, if you're looking to add an urchin to your tank, as long as your corals are glued down, they tend to do fairly well with them. You know, it's kind of like the same as a turbo snail. You want to make sure that you've got your corals glued down, which all of mine are. We've made sure to glue them down really well. And yes, we did reseat this guy right here after it got bulldozed by the long spine urchin. So uh, this would be my number one recommendation if somebody's looking to uh, add an urchin to their tank whether it be for color, algae eating, and particularly having something that an invert munching fish won't mess with because they aren't necessarily venomous, but they are fairly, uh, you know, pokey 
uh, you know, they can sit there and kind of, you know, uh, it'd be kind of like grabbing, you know, like, like it says, a pin cushion with all the needles sticking out. So it wouldn't be very pleasant to grab one. So the fish leave it alone. And anyways, that's all I've got. And thanks for watching.